Hey everyone, uh, I'm making another video here uh, because I had a couple of uh, requests to do a step-by-step -step video on uh, how to grow uh, nice uh, hot pepper plants like I have everywhere in my room here. So uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, first of all, you need to buy some quality seeds. Um, I'm buying them from internet, but whatever. It has to be 90% uh, germination uh, success or over seeds. Those are 95%. So uh, for today, I'll do uh, I'll do some poblanos and uh, jalapeno seeds. So it's really simple, but re really important. Uh, first step is to uh, soak the seeds uh, for at least 24 hours into uh, into some water, uh, but not any kind of water. I really suggest to. Uh, Take, uh, don't take the tap water from the faucet and just uh, soak your seed into it because it's full of chlorine and things like that so it's really bad for your seeds so you just take the tap water and you leave it in a in a, some container or whatever here I'm using some uh, above riser so uh, you just uh, leave the water for at least 24 hours and it's good to go on your um, on your seeds so it won't be uh, harsh for them with the chlorine and everything so you just take some uh, couple of seeds. I take nine because my uh, planting germination container are uh, packed in nine uh, in quantities. So I'll take nine of uh, poblano seeds, nine jalapeno seeds, and I just uh, put them into it. You can of course take any kind of seeds, any uh, kind of pepper. So you just put nine in each if you have nine uh, containers like I have, and you put some uh, your water onto it. Then you soak them for 24 hours and uh, it's gonna help to break the the husk of uh, the seeds so uh, 24 hours good you can leave it 48 hours but it ha you have to be sure that it won't uh, it won't rot <coughs> so 24 hours is good then uh, the day after just take your uh, like I said it's a container I tag them so jalapeno poblanos that's the two I'm gonna show you today uh, then it's really simple you uh, fill with uh, good potting earth uh, soil so uh, I had a lot of requests to, sh to uh, tell you what kind of uh, potting soil I use so for uh, all my pepper plants are uh, buying this from uh, Canadian Tire things like that it's made in Canada it's really great because they have uh, already has so then I fill up my uh, containers divided in nine pieces uh, you just poke a hole pretty simple you just poke a hole in, in every uh, every one of those uh, then uh, you put your one one of your uh, one seed of every kind uh, into your uh, little holes the so of the soaked seeds of course uh, and then you close them up you uh, you wet them very good so I already, already did it so they're probably really uh, wet Again, you use always use your uh, your uh, chlorine-less tap water, if I can say so. Uh, <coughs> and then there's an important process. Uh, just gonna try to show you like that. What's really really important when you uh, for your germination is you uh, is to put it on the seedling. They call it a seedling heat mat really important it's like uh, I don't know what degree it comes to uh, 20 degrees Fahrenheit uh, 20 degrees Celsius oh the hell I don't know 85 Fahrenheit so uh, it's really good if you don't have this kind of mat you can put it on uh, the top of your refrigerator usually it's a pretty high a pretty hot spot so it's really important because these are uh, these are uh, they only grow if they have uh, they only germinate if they have a lot of heat so it's a really important step so just take those two containers <coughs> put it right there and then you just cover it for uh, the humidity okay so once you have your seeds uh, germinated from those uh, the heating mat and uh, the dome uh, you just have to put them into uh, 
like those into four uh, four inch containers so it's going to look like that at the beginning except it's going to be only two uh, a set of two leaves this one has four so uh, it's an earlier step that i can show you but you know it's, it's look the same so you start with the two uh, two leaf sets and then you get two more and uh, so forth so this one's an anaheim pepper this one's a jalapeno so they all gonna look like the same uh, at early stage of their growth but then a couple of weeks later they're gonna look, uh, look like this a uh, couple of uh, more uh, one, two, eight sets of leaves uh, you just leave them like that you don't prune you don't do nothing until they're uh, much more bigger so you let uh, time go by and then it gets uh, like this one this one's a uh, Okay, it's also those are two habaneros, so it's pretty much the same. So uh, much more bigger. Then you start to st you you don't start to see anything but leaves, but you're really close to the stage that you're gonna be uh, uh, you're gonna be needed to prune them uh, or to top them. It's up to you. I'll show you. Hold on. <coughs> so after a couple of weeks later, it's gonna look like. Pretty much like this. So that's where the important steps uh, comes up. Try to show you. I don't know if, if the lighting is good or not, but I don't know if you can see. Maybe I'll leave it in the. Yeah, it's great. Great lighting. Okay, so you can see here. just set aside the leaves there's a bunch of uh, flower pods uh, at this stage you don't want this so I'm just gonna take my little scissors uh, so you just you're gonna see good so anyways you just go there and uh, prune everything off hope you all can see just prune everything off okay so that's that's a great way to uh, give your plant some uh, some strength uh, the roots are gonna go uh, much more down uh, they're gonna develop you see here at every interest at every uh, every uh, branch, they have uh, some new uh, shoots, so that's gonna help them a lot to grow some uh, side shoots. I'll give you an example here. This plant has been topped like uh, a few weeks ago. Okay, so it's then instead of uh, being just tall and uh, and weak. It has all it has shooted everywhere from the branches, so it's gonna help it uh, become more wide, more tough, uh, bigger stem to make to uh, make it hold all those pebble, all those peppers. So I continue to just chop down the just chop the flower pods. You can continue this as long as you want. Because it's really not helping them to uh, produce some pepper pods in, in those uh, earlier stages of uh, their life. So that's pretty way the way, uh, pretty much the way I do it. It's really up to you, but it helps a lot. Um, that's really what I wanted to show you. So then it's uh, really simple. It goes from uh, this one to this one to this one then it all flowers up and then it uh, produces some pods uh, maybe I can show you uh, one important thing also that I really like to, uh, to show you it's that uh, the way I'm watering them it's really important it's the way I do it so you soak them from the bottom it really helps to uh, make a, a much uh, powerful root system so it has to go down and suck uh, the water up uh, it also helps to, uh, you see a little of uh, uh, 
moisture signs so it really helps to uh, as long as your topsoil is not wetted uh, it helps to uh, prevent having some uh, some moisture and things like, it, like that so that's pretty much about it I'm uh, I'm pretty much near the end of the season uh, of those uh, the season it's it's just the way I uh, say it but it's uh, been like uh, six months those peppers are uh, in my room so I just uh, in the next month I'll pretty much just harvest the rest of the peppers and uh, let them go I'll throw them away and start a new bunch of uh, other peppers that you see there and uh, the seeds that are germinating that I just showed you so uh, I'm just finishing harvesting them for what it's worth uh, for final wanted you to show you a couple more but this is a Tabasco plant Anaheim pepper uh, those are Peter pepper sorry Santa Fe's Serrano's couple of red ones uh, just to show you this ones look pretty dead but it's not uh, when I'm close to uh, final harvest so this plants gonna be harvested and then I'm gonna throw it away I just I don't uh, I stopped watering them for like a week or two and then it helps to uh, so every kind of foliage gonna die up but uh, it helps uh, for the peppers uh, they're gonna be much more hot so it really helps uh, helps uh, having much more hotter peppers uh, so this one's gonna be done I think this week I'll harvest every pods on it and it's gonna be the end for him same thing with the habanero. I'm just waiting for this one to be really really red and then it's gonna be the end. So that's pretty much about it for the tutorial. I hope it helps a lot of you guys and if you have any much more questions just feel free to ask me. Sorry I have a cold but I uh, really wanted to do this video before any uh, of those plants are going much more bigger. So that's uh, step by step what I'm uh, doing to have uh, all those plants in my, of course it's not outside, it's in my uh, living room, so um, I think anyone can do it, so uh, have a nice day, see ya.